Welcome to Chess Paints. Today, we will be talking about the St. George defense. Um, pretty much anything white plays, you can start off a6. I know, wonderful move, right? <laughs> white, a lot of times, will play D d4 in response. Um, from here, most people play e6 if they play the St. George. I usually play h6. Um, what this really does is... It kind of stops the knights from being able to get onto the b5 and g5 squares. And it also prevents the bishops from getting on those squares as well. Um, so it's a very passive opening. Uh, if your opponent's never seen it before, it's, it's going to throw them off at least a little. <coughs> and here you can do e6, which finally gives black some kind of development. Um... Well, it doesn't develop, but it helps get you ready to develop pieces. Um, and that is really the main reason most people don't play the St. George, is it just doesn't develop quickly. Um, <clears throat> from here, the computer recommends D5. Uh, I'll play that sometimes, but I usually play B5 or G5. Uh, or I'll play Knight E7. It seems like the... The most solid move. Um, from here, White has a variety of options, but I uh, just wanted to give a quick uh, introduction to the St. George defense. <clears throat> and this, and G5 is kind of a neat move because even though this opening doesn't give a lot of development, uh, this allows you to somewhat quickly push pawns up and attack a knight pretty early on, uh, this knight's going to have to move, really. Um, so it, you can make white uncomfortable. There we go. Sorry, this thing can be slow sometimes. <clears throat> um, of course, it's being attacked by the, the D1 queen. Generally, I just move this pawn up. Uh, I've seen people move this pawn up, and then after the pawn trade, they trade again. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that, because there's a bishop and a knight per, uh, on the f5 spot. Um, all that really does is get some pawns out of the way, um, and, and you're down a pawn. But it does open this up more, so I can kind of see why people do that, but I, I wouldn't recommend I would just do this. Um... From here, there's a lot of variety, variations, options for white. So I'm not going to go deeper into this on an introduction video. But definitely... Here, I'll just move a piece real quick so we can look at it from Black's perspective. <clears throat> but definitely uh, try it out sometime. Just kind of play with it a little bit. Um, it's not something I would recommend playing in tournaments a lot. Um, unless you just want to throw off your opponent. <clears throat> Um, now, I will admit, though, unlike most uh, unorthodox openings, this is the only one that I didn't have to tinker with a lot to kind of make it somewhat useful. If From the very first time I played it, it seemed like a solid opening. Um, it, it has its weakness, especially in development, but it, it's not something that really required a whole lot of tinkering around with like most openings. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.